<coughs> Dumble is back, but it's not Alexander Dumble who is back. He unfortunately passed away a few years ago. But the brand is back, and they are promising us some brand new amplifiers. So I figured out what we're going to do in this video is we're going to ask questions and maybe, maybe, just maybe insinuate to giving some answers. And we're going to be watching a video from NAM 2025 about the new Dumble company and the new Dumble amplifiers. and. We're just going to listen to what they're uh, talking about and maybe comment on it a little bit. But before we begin, I have to introduce you to the sponsor of this video, and it is not Dave Grohl. So in the presence of not Dave Grohl, I'd like to kindly ask you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't, because honestly, you know, I feel used if you watch these videos and you're not subscribed. And the second thing I'm going to ask you, go to the Slightly Technical Academy, slightlytechnicalacademy.com, because it's a good place with a lot of information. It's getting packed with information and good stuff if you're interested in guitar. So, let's get into the video. So, as always, I'm gonna run through the video. I watched it before. There's a lot of blah blah. The first part was about uh, Dumble and then we have this part, what's next for the brand. Let's watch that. So, um so basically, we're, we're, we come in with, with, with this scene, um, is we're the group that we put together to carry on the legacy, we're very, his, his closest people, and so, and his trusted people, and he introduced me to his family years ago, and uh, he always said, you know, you handle things, if something happens when, unfortunately, three years ago he passed, so um, working with, with his family and, um, and Matt Swanson and then Michael Doyle, we've, we, were, we have to create something to continue with the brand. So in doing that, uh, we have built a couple of amplifiers, and it was very challenging because his to, to have something and call it Dumble to put his name on it, it was you know a very challenging situation. We got a friend of Mr. Dumble's that's a tech that, that used to work with Mr. Dumble, a trusted guy and an, another friend, and together we have a little team that's trying to stick to the brand, truly stick to it in every way. It takes a long time for each one of these to be built, and so we feel we're, we're kind of preserving the legacy and continuing the legacy, and so we brought them here to let people know that... Uh, okay, so from what I can tell from this video, from what I've learned so far, is that this is a group of people who were uh, like close, close friends with Dumble. They're continuing the legacy, continuing the company, which is absolutely great. I love that. That's totally cool. Um, the tech behind these new Dumble amplifiers is apparently some tech who knew Dumble or whatever. And I also searched for some additional information. Take a look at this. So uh, on Guitar World, I found there's an article about this which uh, came out last year, a few months ago. And um, it says here, what's most notable though is the fact uh, statement re reveals the current Dumble overseers have access to schematics, databases of all authentic Dumble amplifiers ever in existence. Wow, they have all the schematics. All right, from what I know about amplifier building, I can tell you that if you have a schematic, you're still a long way from making that amplifier sound the way it's supposed to sound. Now, when we talk about Alexander Dumble, we are talking about a very specific situation where we have basically a guitar building genius who built amplifiers for other people as like a service based on what he would gather from these people about what they want, how they play and so on. So he would have this magic ability, and this is the magical part really, where he can actually translate the way how they play, the way how they react, the way how they talk, the way how they think about music, and he translates that into like voltages, resistors and capacitors. This is really the biggest skill of Howard Dumble, but he's not here anymore, all right? And these amplifiers that they're building, they're sort of based on whatever he built before. So they would have to choose from a selection of amplifiers, they would have to choose something and say, all right, so this is the Dumble sound, all right? And this is what we are going to go with, okay? So let's watch a little bit more. That we're doing this legitimately, that we're, we're asked by Mr. Dumble and the family to continue doing it. And and he said, Michael, have you, have you got any good Marshalls lately? And I said, well, I've got a couple of Marshalls. Okay, so they're going through the amplifiers over here. Let me see. Several artists, Santana used it. And uh, so this is a special amp. This is kind of a treasure. He never really finished it, obviously. <laughs> and he kind of liked it like that. And it created a vibe in the name Woody. So it, this is a really sweet, warm-sounding amplifier. Um, it does overdrive. 
everybody wanted that, but the true Dumble sound is the clean. Yeah. And you can't get the warm, clean, lush sound out of most amps and, and compared to a Dumble. Yeah, I mean, they're talking about some things now that they're not really amplifier builders, none of them, in this video. And they would. You had to trust his, his opinion and his, his judgment that it's going to be okay. This yeah. is what you need. You're going to have to trust me. And people respect him so much. Like, okay, we'll try it. And usually, it was, you know, rarely did they come back. For, for well, you were saying there was one, one guitar player that just wanted to give me the answer. Well, that's, that's Eric. Um, <laughs> Eric Clapton. Um, okay, so this is exactly what they're talking about here. I just mentioned it a, a few moments uh, before. Um, he was the person that they would really trust they would go to him and they would be like, hey, I need this sound. And they knew that this guy Dumble would actually understand the players and he could, as I said, like magically translate it into some circuits and then give them what they wanted. So this was the biggest, biggest quality. Now, what I want to learn in this video is I want to know more about this company and the amplifiers that they're building. That's why you're here for, right? So let's go. Continuing the legacy. Well, before Pete plays them, I mean, I guess, you know, the, the, we'll have to see how the, what the future holds, but I, I guess your, your intention is somehow to ensure that the legacy endures by uh, continuing to produce uh, replicas of, of, of his old designs? Is that, is that I, I wouldn't call them replicas, I would call it continuation. Right, okay. So, um, as close to using his specs as, as possible, mm. very time consuming, and, uh, you know, built by hand for long periods of time to get one to where we're happy with it. But okay, so he's saying, actually, a few times in this video that uh, it's very time consuming and it's built by hand, so my guess is these amplifiers are going to be like boutique hand wired and very expensive this is what i'm getting from the video it's it's, it's sort of like like these people are very good at marketing and it's their job they're really good at this and absolutely no disrespect to them for what i'm saying but i'm just trying to sort of demystify these things so they are saying it's going to be a boutique brand and they're sort of preparing us that it's going to be expensive which is again fine if you're into these things if you're really going to get what you're expecting to get from an amplifier that's called double. But yeah, to a certain degree, uh, we're, you know, we're not sure. We're here to get some feedback and to share the Dumble legacy with everybody. So we're not clear on where it's going, but so far we've got really positive feedback and people have enjoyed the new amps, the old amps, and just the whole Dumble vibe. So. I, I, again, I'm sure that... That actually sounds really good because um, they want to continue the legacy, but they came over there to NAM and they're sort of, they want to get some feedback from people. That's the way how everybody should do. So... If anyone from the bigger companies would ever watch this video, that's the thing that you should do. You should listen to people. So that's really cool from their side. Comment section here will, will be, be in agreement with me, but I mean, it's what a wonderful thing you're doing. Because it, it's you. just, um, I can't imagine it. You know, there are so many legendary figures in the music industry that have built guitars and amps and pedals over the time, and obviously all things come to an end at some point. But if you have someone super passionate about continuing that on, you know, it, players of new generations will get to experience things like this. That, that you know, I think it's just wonderful what you're doing. So thank you. Yeah, yeah we're, it's a it's a labor of love and, and with respect and. To Mr. Okay, so basically they're into uh, dumbbell amplifiers and they're going to tell us this multiple times in the video. Now. What do we know from this video? We actually don't know much. We know it's going to be like a boutique brand. I, I feel like they're preparing us. It's going to be expensive. But the question is, since Dumble is not among us anymore, and um, we also have some other amplifier brands that are doing sort of Dumble-esque circuits, and they're doing a very good work, right? So, for example, if we talk about, for example, two rock amplification, I just searched on reverb. So two rock amplifiers are actually also quite expensive amplifiers, but they sound amazing. Um, if you have any illusions to whether this is uh, like a Dumble-esque um, thing, design, yeah, two rock amplifiers are mainly um, inspired by Dumble. Now, what do we know about, uh, what, what do we actually know about Dumble's design? So there have been some schematics on the internet that have leaked and sort of whoever was making clones of Dumble amplifiers, it was based on these few, it's just a handful of schematics uh, that's um, on the internet. Now, based on those schematics, you can sort of get the idea of what he liked in amplifiers and sort of, you could sort of get the idea, some of the techniques that he used. And most of these amplifiers that are sort of Dumble-esque are based on these few schematics that can be found on the internet. And I'm quite sure of that. Um, now, these people have something else because they have this whole database of he, his uh, mods, but still they don't have Dumble. So I'm not yet convinced whether I, 
would buy a dumbbell amplifier or I'd just go with, with a two rock, for example. Also, I checked on Sweetwater where you've got Amplified Nation, a lot of like dumbbell clones. In the video, in one part, I will not search for that part of the video, they said that none of these dumbbell clones were actually, they didn't say they were good, but they were not like the real thing and that they are doing the real thing, to be perfectly honest. I'm not convinced that they're doing the real thing. I'm not. They, ha they don't have dumbbell, they have has whatever next door neighbor and they have has schematics. That doesn't mean they can make it sound like Dumble made it sound. And then again, do you really need an amplifier by Alexander Dumble? Like, you should be able to play guitar and you should be able to play with pretty much any amplifier. And I don't believe that having a Dumble amplifier, I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna say it. I don't believe that having a Dumble amplifier is going to make you a better guitar player, especially if you have a two rock, for example, or something like this. If you can't uh, make those amplifiers uh, sing, then maybe the problem is elsewhere. Now, then again, if you're a fan of dumbbells, if you really want to spend the money on them, that's absolutely fine. But now I'm going, like, like I just said some things I might not be right about, and that's completely fine. We asked a few questions in the video. So how different will be these dumbbells? What is so special about them compared to the, let's say, the two rock. Why would we buy them? Um, what is the price point? I couldn't find anything on the price. What is the price point? If the dumbbell amplifier would be, for example, in the same price range as these clones, then why not buy the real thing, right? Why would you buy clones? But if the dumbbell amplifier would be like two or three times the price of these clones, then, Honestly, I'm not sure if I would ever go for a dumbbell amplifier. Now, in any case, this video is sort of dragging on. But guys, I really thank you for watching these videos. And please go and subscribe if you, if you found at least some information um, interesting and useful in these videos. Just go and click that like button and how they say ring the bell and all this good stuff. It really helps me out because um, I sort of... Um, I'm happier, and then I make more videos. When I'm happy, I make videos. When I'm sad, when you're not liking them, then I'm just sad, all right? So, but I'm still gonna make videos. Now, in any case, thanks for watching. Check out the Slightly Technical Academy. I think everybody wants more, and I'll be seeing you in the next video very, very soon. Bye.